Welcome back. It's a fun time of year with the uh, film festival going on, mm -hmm. and it's into week two now for the Santa Barbara National Film Festival, and all the stars are in town. And one of them you certainly will recognize from her years on TV and in hit movies. Now she's starring in Ruby's Choice, which made its debut at the film festival yesterday to rave reviews. Joining us now live, two-time Golden winner, Golden Globe winner, Jane Seymour is with us. Good morning, Jane. Good morning. So this premiered yesterday for the first time in the United States, and it's a hit already. Kind of tell us about Ruby's Choice. Well, uh, we had a curious time slot of 10 in the morning, 10, 10 not something, and 10.20 in the morning, and uh, the place was almost full. People loved it. They said they're coming back again. It got huge laughs and a lot of tears. Um, basically, Ruby is... Um, is is not it, part of an Australian family. They don't have very many means. They have lots of issues and lots of things going on in their family. But Ruby is the biggest issue because uh, she accidentally burns down her house, um, kills her, her granddaughter's pets without realizing, gets lost. She has Alzheimer's or dementia. Mm. And uh, first of all, they're in denial. And then they try to take her in and, and, and everybody in the family tries to make it work. But um, you know, at, at the end of the day, it's Ruby's choice as to whether or not she goes into a home. And, um, and this really, it's, it's a, a story of how this family tried to deal with dementia. And it's so beautifully written. It's been written by a man who's been working in that world for 25 years. Mm -hmm. So everyone I know that knows anything about dementia and Alzheimer's has said this is the most authentic movie, you know, and, and there's just a lot to learn from it. But it also is very uplifting because Ruby ends up changing, positively changing the whole lives of every member of her family, some, sometimes without even really realizing that she's done it. Wow. And as you mentioned, it got rave reviews here when it was shown in Santa Barbara. You also told us that it's doing really well in Australia. Yes, it, it opened in Australia. Believe it or not, uh, Australian theaters opened up and if there was Batman, Ruby's Choice, and Power of the Dog. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. Like, that is awesome because we're the little engine, you know. But um, at first I thought maybe only people touched by, by dementia and Alzheimer's would, would love this movie. But what I'm realizing is everyone loves it because it deals with three generations of strong women. The, you know, the matriarch Ruby, her daughter, who's trying to fix everything and make everything right, this wonderful actress, Jacqueline McKenzie, and my granddaughter, who develops an amazing bond and her whole life has changed by having to stay home and look after Ruby, played by Coco Jack Dillis, who's I'm sure gonna be a star. She's she's amazing. Wow. And um, I made this during COVID, you know, I I, I was like the only yeah. foreigner allowed to Sydney. <laughs> it was so hard to get in and out of, of Australia or New Zealand, anywhere down there. And, and that's amazing to do all this through COVID. Yeah, I know, and and you know what? They they took me off the aeroplane with machine guns and put me in a room, <laughs> and uh, so I did all my prep for the for the movie on Zoom with this wow. family of actors who would Zoom me for two hours a day, and well, so by the time off. I got out of there, we were ready to rock and roll, and uh, it's you know the connection in the family, the connection between all of us is just palpable. Want to get you out of here on this? You're no stranger to Santa Barbara. You used to live here. What's it like being back at the film festival? Oh, it's so wonderful. I, I was hanging out with two of my best friends yesterday, um, uh, Jalinda Dvorzen, who I'm sure you know, and Lyle Antfell, and uh, they came to see the movie and they're bringing tons of people. They're bringing all kinds of people as well, but it was so lovely. You know, I, I, I have to say that most of my best friends are still there in Santa Barbara and Montecito. My kids grew up there. You know, I miss it desperately. Had it not been for um, a divorce and Dr. Quinn medicine woman, I would still be there. Well, the great Jane Seymour, we're happy to have you here with us this morning. And if you want to see Ruby's Choice, it's playing again tomorrow at 2.40 at Metro number three. So, Jane, thank you for joining us, and good luck with the movie. And I'll be there, and I'm going to do Q&A. So, um, you know, get your questions ready. More reason to come out. Jane Seymour, thank you. Thank you. Bye.